Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about management of cyanotic spills. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Cyanotic spill is common in patients with tetralogy of phthalate. Patients with the ventricular septal defect pulmonary stenosis physiology are prone to cyanotic spills. This ventricular septal defect and pulmonary stenosis physiology is seen in patients with tetralogy of phthalate. Cyanotic spill is an emergency and it requires prompt recognition and intervention to prevent disabling cerebrovascular incels or death. This picture shows a child with tetralogy of phthalate exhibiting bluish skin during episodes of crying or feeding. This is a cyanotic spill. A cyanotic spill is also known as a tet spill. You can notice the bluish discoloration in the baby. Now, what are the immediate steps that need to be taken in the management of cyanotic spill? We have to check the airway. We have to deliver oxygen by face mask or nasal cannula. Nietzsche's position. Sedate the child with morphine. 0.2 mg per kilogram subcutaneously is the dose of morphine. Administer sodium bicarbonate at 1 to 2 ml per kilogram. Correct hypovolemia. We have to give 10 ml per kilogram of dextrose. Keep the child warm. Transfuse packed drexel if the patient is anemic. Metoprolol is given at 0.1 mg per kilogram IV slowly over 5 minutes and it is repeated every 5 minutes for a maximum of 3 doses. Metoprolol should not be given if beta blockers are contraindicated. We have to monitor saturation, heart rate and blood pressure. We have to keep the heart rate below 100 beats per minute. Now, if there is persistent desaturation, even after the above steps are taken, we have to give vasopressor infusion. Methoxamine can be given in a dose of 0.1 to 0.2 mg per kilogram per dose IV. Another vasopressor that can be used is phenylephrine. It is given in a dose of 5 microgram per kilogram as IV bolus and 1 to 4 microgram per kilogram per minute as infusion. If the cyanotic spell still persists, we have to paralyze the patient, electively intubate and ventilate, and we have to plan for palliative or corrective surgery. Seizures during cyanotic spells are managed with diase pump at 0.2 milligram per kilogram IV or midazolam at 0.1 to 0.2 milligram per kilogram per dose IV. The steps that need to be taken following a cyanotic spill are we have to conduct a careful neurological examination and perform CNS imaging if focal deficits are present. Beta blockers should be initiated at the maximally tolerated dose. Propranolol should be initiated at a dose of 0.5 to 1.5 mg per kilogram every 6 to 8 hourly. We have to plan early corrective or palliative surgery. We have to administer iron if the child is anemic. How do you prevent cyanotic spills? We have to avoid precipitating factors like dehydration, fever and pain. One such example is use of local anesthetic patches or sedation with intramuscular ketamine to avoid pain during venesection. We have to counsel parents regarding the possibility of recurrence of spills and precipitating factors. Early surgical repair of the underlying condition can also prevent cyanotic spills. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my playlists. Thank you.